Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel. As always, please turn your closed captions on and of course we always ask for your support as we come up on our two year anniversary on Travers Day, right? We did release our first video on 2020 Travers Day, so we got a two year anniversary coming up and uh, wow. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for your support. Of course, you can uh, support us by uh, buying our tip sheets at speedking24 at yahoo.com. If you just email me, I'll get them to you. Uh, they're $20 per track. It's a great way to support us as we upgrade our studio. And of course, we have this limited edition t-shirt that our boy Graphics Greg put together for us. It's kind of funny, I guess. Um, you know, so we got, uh, you know, 24, 30 of them that we're going to be um, uh, putting out there. Of course, uh, they're 20, uh, $22 uh, per, per shirt. Please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. I think we make a whopping $5 on them, right? So, again, we just like to get them out there. And thanks so much, Greg, for a nice design, I guess. I mean, I don't know, on the t-shirts. Well, we're going to take a look at Saturday steak race over at Del Mar. It is the Sorrento steaks. It is grade two for two-year-old babies. That's right. It's the babies. They're back on the scene. And uh, it's race number nine for a cool $200,000 going six furlongs. And it's a cool field of seven. We're going to give you our top three or four picks in here. Actually, our top one pick, and then I don't want to hear anything else from anybody else. I like one horse in this race and one horse only. The number one horse. Uh, procrastination, which is what we're not doing, right? I'm not a defensive player. I'm an offensive player, and I'm going to stake my hair claim right here. I'm going to plant my flag right here on Racetrack Hill. We think the number one procrastination should go gate the wire right from the rail. Trained by that classy guy. That's right. It's Mike McCarthy. And, uh, you know, you got Gonzalez in the arms. This horse is by not this time on the back end by Super Saver. Well, the number one procrastination is quick, fast, and this horse is going to be in a hurry out of the gate. Well, the horse is one for one. This Kentucky bred by not this time. Ran gate to wire in the maiden special race on July 4th. That's right, Independence Day over at Los Alamitos. Went gate to wire with um, uh, Gonzalez in the arms. Earned a beautiful, beautiful speed figures. That was about, I don't know, six weeks ago right so we know the horse has been freshened up and if the horse can run that well off the never having run we expect him to be twice as good coming out the gate the second time i'm looking down at the workout he has a nice string of workouts which is important to me not the times but that their regular schedule which means to tell me he's in training on the right time but i do see some black types down there right uh he ran four furlongs and 47 and two fifths fifth of 116 of 116 handling out the gate so again procrastination in my opinion in the sorrento grades two uh, race this philly should flat out handle this bunch i mean bread like all get out not this time on the back end by super saver please i mean this horse should just flat out win the horse has a 32 percent win probability from where we sit and the horse should be four to five okay on the morning line based on what how we assign odds so to me the best bet of the day on saturday is procrastination if you get eight to five two to one on this horse you need to push it in there quick fast and in a hurry you know this horse should be four to five on the morning line anything above that is an overlay from where we sit 32 percent win probability uh procrastination is a strong 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 best bet in the Sorrento stakes out there, beautiful Del Mar, where the turf meets the surf. Well, who's going to run second? Don't know, don't really care, but I will tell you this. Doug O'Neill was trying to circle the wagons. Doug has three in here, so let's put those three underneath. How about that? Well, you know, of course, Doug has the number um, six horse. Uh, absolute zero ran a beautiful speed figure. Mario's in the arms. The horse is two for two, of course. California bred, and uh, you can use that one underneath, right? The number six horse, and the other Doug O'Neill horse would be the number five horse, Satin Dial. The old Satin Dial is just as good as Absolute Zero, the number six horse. So you can use that one underneath, and then the other third Doug O'Neill horse, right? 
is uh, the number two horse, Vegas Magic, right? And you don't have to look far. This horse can flat out run. So for us, we really don't care who's going to be underneath. We think it's a one-horse race, procrastination. Who do you use underneath? I would start with using the three Doug O'Neill's horse, the two six and seven in that order and if you're real really froggish the number three horse is by the ghost zapper the daughter of ghost zapper trained by phil the model right speed figures a little light but if you want to throw the two in go ahead but we uh the number three horse then go ahead but we think it's all about procrastination we think it's a gate to wire job and who will we use underneath well we'll will the horse in the trifactor hope the back part falls apart but if we had to use three underneath them we'll use all three Doug O'Neill's horses and that would be number two five six in that order so for us it's one over two five six in that order push all the chips in on procrastination in this year's Sorrento grade two race nine on Saturday if you get above six to five seven to five I would employ you to bet this horse to win they shouldn't catch this baby by no means stay classy y'all